Okay, so tonight I thought since the last time we did Nirpo, which is the shifting of fear within our bodies, right? Um, I thought today would be good to do Nirvad. Um, Vad is is an iceberg word we have that um, it's a you know in Sanskrit that means um, it can mean anger, hate, bitterness, right? Um, and I usually explain it. It's like it starts out as the acid we drink, hoping someone else will get sick, and it can become after a while the poison we're drinking, hoping someone else will die, right? Mm -hmm. So with everything going on and the um, very adversarial dynamics that are existing in different portions of the population. I feel like that is on the rise, right? Our intolerance, our anger, our um, just disgust of people, whatever, it doesn't seem to matter what the position is, the feelings exist across the spectrum. Um, and so I thought it would be good to do nirvad because nirvad means, um, you know, yes, we feel the emotion. We will. We're human beings and we can move through it and we can release it. Right. We don't have to stay stuck in it. So, it, you know, it can feel a bit of that like, oh, this, you know, that negative emotion can come up and we can choose to just let go. Right. Because we're the ones holding tight and we can choose to let go. And we can choose to shift or transform it into something else. Um, and so, uh, so I thought, yeah, so for tonight, I'm going to invite you to just chant the word, let it be whatever it's going to be, allow whatever thoughts that come up, allow them to come up. It's okay. We're stirring the bucket. You know, that's often what meditation is also about. If we're wanting to release stuff, you got to stir the bucket and allow what comes up and comes up without judgment and, and just give permission for it to leave your body. Right. So, um, and if you feel you need to write things down, cause maybe some thoughts have come up or a solution or, you know, feel free. I find oftentimes when I'm meditating, um, it's, it's when I get my answers to my questions. <laughs> so I've learned to keep something handy, right. To write, jot things down. Cause then I don't have to sit there and go, I hope I don't forget. I hope I don't forget. <laughs> right. Which kind of defeats the purpose of what I'm doing as I'm holding on to the thought. Uh, so just write it down, allow it to go, or be okay that whatever comes in, it'll come when it's meant to come back. So you can do that as well. You know, don't worry about writing it down. Just allow it to flow through and trust that what you need to know or the insight that you got will come back. There's no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong way to meditate. There's no one way of meditating as is so often taught, I have to say, in so many Western circles, right? You must not think about anything. You must do it this way. Not at all. Meditate as you go for a walk. Meditate if you're in your car. Don't close your eyes. Please don't do that. But you can be chanting away <laughs> as you're driving, right? Helps with the road rage. You can be doing deep breathing. There's so many different kinds and styles of meditating that they can fit into our life. This particular style, and it's just one style, is where we combine a breath pattern of an inhale and an exhale along with a chanting. Some people will do it as a mental chant. We're going to do it as an out loud chant, right? And so what we would have happened is we're going to inhale. And then on the exhale, we're going to chant Nidavad. The spelling of Nirvad is N-I-R-V-A-I-R. Now, as a Sikh, I roll my R's. So if you're Irish or Scottish, or, it should be really easy. <laughs> if you're not, don't worry about it. <laughs> Just pronounce the word however you can. N-I-R-V-A-I-R. You know, I'm trying to see if I can say it in English with an English accent. Nirvair, I think. <laughs> Because I'm used to going nirvad, right? It's a quick roll of the R <laughs> as I'm saying it. Um, just you'll get the effects, right? It's just surrendering into um, uh, into the chant and just allowing it to do its magic. What you're doing is opening yourself up um, to interface with creation. Really, that's about it. And then surrender into whatever comes and trust you'll get what you need. Uh, and sometimes it's just, you know, my last meditation I did, it was just quiet. Like literally it was quiet in my head. And I was like, oh, well, that's an interesting experience. And I surrendered into the quiet of it, you know, rather than the, oh, this idea came or that idea came or whatever. So 
for our background music, uh, I we are gonna it's we've done this one before. It's called the Glory of Dusk, um, and it's uh, an evening rag. Um, rags are a uh, science, like it's the sound, science of sound um, out of um, the Indian subcontinent. And so the rag that's being sung is Raga Puriya Kalyan. So the glory of dusk. And um, so apparently it's a combination of two ragas. I'm just literally reading off of YouTube here, Puriya and Yaman. Uh, its mood is somber, meditative, contemplative, devotional. Uh, as so many uh, rags that are played at dusk tend to be. And so I thought this would be like a nice, lovely background music for us to uh, chant to. So, all right, so if we can begin, what we're gonna actually, sorry, practice saying nirvad. So it's nirvad, if you can repeat. Nirvad. Nir -var. Nir -var. Yeah. Nir -var. Nir -var. Right. So I'll be chanting, so I'll have the breath pattern and count, the inhale and the exhale, and just, you know, please follow along. So what we want to do, I'm going to start the music, and um, let me know if this is too loud or not. First of all, too loud or not loud enough? Is it good? Okay, perfect. So if you can close your eyes and start to become just present and aware in your body and just breathe easily, comfortably. And give yourself permission to let go of the outside world. and give yourself permission to go within and allow yourself to be open to the dance, that give and take that can occur. You get a chance to partner with the universe. And in this partnership and in this beautiful dance and this give and take a flow, give yourself permission to allow whatever you're angry about, whatever you're upset about, to allow it to come to the surface. And give yourself and those emotions and feelings permission to be able to leave your body. Feel yourself in your body. As human beings, we are capable of feeling negative emotions. And unfortunately, we're often told they're not good, so we work on avoiding them. And when we do this long enough, they end up becoming the monkeys that ride our backs, the programs that run our subconscious. And very often, they are counter to our values and beliefs they are a counter to how we really want to show up. And so we must make time if we want to be more in alignment with our authentic self. We've got to make time to be able to unpack and allow what does not serve us to leave. Doing that sort of sense of spring cleaning so that these feelings and emotions and upset that we have doesn't solidify into something that ends up in dis-ease, bitterness, baggage. And so just sit with that 
as I say those words, whatever it brings to you, just sit with that emotion and just allow it to be. And then I invite you as we meditate together, as we chant Nirvad, I invite you to allow yourself to fill with the warmth that comes when we are in that dance or our bodies warm up when we exercise. Allow that heat to soften and allow it to melt what needs to melt. Allow it to evaporate what needs to evaporate and allow it to let go of whatever we need to let go. And so please begin with me as we will inhale and on the exhale, we will chant Nirvana and we will do so for 20 minutes. You don't have to worry about the time because I'm going to set a timer. And when it goes off, I will guide you back. Nirvana. Nirvana. 
Allow yourself to come back into your body, to be present. Just breathing at a relaxed pace. And when you are ready, you are welcome to open your eyes and join the rest of the group.